So Pete and I are going on a little adventure today in the mighty Luscombe. Where are we going to today, Pete? Sam Tail. Sam Mateo? Yeah, who are we going to see there? All cousins. Yeah, all right. How long do you think it'll take us to get there? Maybe an hour or two? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you gonna do some navigating? How about if I take a little nap? Will you fly? No. No? <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. It's real easy. <laughs> I won't I won't no fly it. Okay, well we'll get you some practice. I gotta show you a couple other things here. Hang on. You wanna go straight through or do you wanna stop it for a bathroom break? Straight through. Go straight through? Yeah. Well, if you gotta go to the bathroom, you know how to use that? Yeah. You do? Oh yeah. Okay. And if you get seasick. What's that? The ball bag. <laughs> Are you familiar with that? Yes. You, well, you never barfed, have you? <laughs> but you barfed before, but not in the airplane. Yeah. Uh, Alright, all right, let's go. It should be a smooth day. No barfing. Let's go to the bathroom and get going, alright? Okay, now check your oil pressure right there. Got your oil pressures up. Yep. It's in the green. You keep an eye on that all day today. And we got to warm up the oil temperature here. This gauge is in up. Karen traffic, Sears 49 Charlie Delta, taking runway 25, departing IFR to the south, Nevada County. All right, ready to go warm it up, Pete? Okay, put the stick back in your lap. Here, I'll take this for you. Put your flag back where it belongs. Eh? Put your flag right there. There you go. Stick back in your lap. Good. And we'll taxi. Okay, Pete, when we're uh, flying, I'm going to say, I have the aircraft, or I have the jet. That means I have the controls, right? Okay. And then if I say, you have the aircraft, get on the controls. Grab them. And then you say, I have the aircraft. So let's hear you say it. I have the aircraft. That's right. Now you're flying. So we always know who's flying the airplane. All right? Okay. Now I have the aircraft. And you say, you have the aircraft. You have the aircraft. And now I'm flying. There we go. Positive transfer of control. Very important in an airplane with two controls, especially if you're sitting in front and back of each other in a tandem seat where you can't see the other guy what he's doing and then pretty soon you're fighting over the controls who's flying this thing or worse yet nobody's flying the thing think about that Pete do you know where the four flight program is the maps yeah which one is it oh just no remember that I don't know yeah it's that one right there yeah, definitely the one right. okay alright Say okay to that. Okay. 
Now, how do we get rid of this? Tap it up there. Okay, now where are we at? Um, is it the triangle? Yeah, that's right, it's over. There we are, there's the blue triangle. So we're gonna try and follow the purple line. Is that the one way? No, that's our route that we wanna take. Oh. Yeah. And where's the one way? Right. Oh, that black thing. Right down there, yep, that black thing. It's the runway extended. Yeah, you zoomed right in on it. Very good. Okay, now zoom out. You're going to be in charge of navigation. What are those black things? That's all the the ramps. Where are the ramps? Well, look at the touch on the plates. This? Yep. And uh, it looks like this. Let's type in Kegu. Let's type in our airport here. Mm. K-G-O-O, -O, search. Okay, and four flight diagram. And there it is. Now go back to maps. So what are the ramps? That's oh, where we go taxiing. All the taxi. All this black stuff we're sitting on with the airplane? That's the ramps and the taxiways and the runways. We're way down here. Yeah. It doesn't show us up on the, we're right down there. The end of, what runway is that right there that we're gonna take off on? What runway number is that? I don't know, 25. Two five, say two five, runway two five. Two five. Yep. Runway two five. And then 75. No, that's zero seven. I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's an A, a T, a T, an A, and a C, and an A, a B, a B, and an A. And these correspond to magnetic headings. Uh, we'll check that on our magnetic compass. See, look at this right here, Pete. There's our compass right there. Yep. Back to the maps. So you tell us whether we're left or right, of course, and where we got to go to find our destination. We'll do the scenic route today. We'll do the bay tour and go look for some sharks. You want to see some sharks? Okay. All right. Wait, where's the bay tour? The bay tour is over the Golden Gate Bridge. So where are we gonna go? We're gonna go all the way down to the Golden Gate Bridge and around to um, San Mateo, San Carlos so Airport. We're gonna go down right over here. Yeah, right over all that water. Yeah. Seriously, that's how big the bridge is. Oh, it's big. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, that's it. Okay. You got it. Good. Questions? No. Okay, I have the aircraft. You have the aircraft. Roger that. Our cigars check is done. Controls, instruments, gas, attitude, uh, run up, safety. The fuel is on the right tank. The right tank is full. Mags are on both. Mixture is rich. Anybody on final, Pete? Uh, no. Okay. We'll make our radio call. Nevada County traffic, Luscom 71608. Depart in 25 Nevada County, straight out to the west. We'll climb up to mm, 4,500 feet. Okay. Wait, can this go higher than the clouds? Sure, if the clouds are low enough. <laughs> okay, runway's clear, nobody on the runway, no deer. Ow, ow, ow. Yes. Oil pressure's good, here we go. Good. Time check, what's the time uh, say? It's almost 12, I got the aircraft, so hands off the controls. Tail up, right there. You can see a little better. Uh, and are we, we'll off, we'll off. are we flying? Yes, we're off the ground. Yes, that's good. Oil pressure good. There we go. Oh, oh. Ah. A little breeze out of the north. What do you see down there, Pete? The Nevada City over there. Nevada City's over there already? We see below us, it's just trees. Okay. It looks like a forest fire. A forest fire? Really, it looks like a forest fire. 
but not like smoke. It looks like it was, but I don't think it, it, but it wasn't. Look how clear it is out there today. I can see all the way to the Sierras. Yes, I can. Okay, which way to San Mateo, Pete? And we got to go a little bit that way, huh? A little bit to the left? We'll get there, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay. I'm going to try and see McDonald's. Yeah, you're looking at McDonald's right over, well, right over there somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Do you see McDonald's? I do. It's not too easy to see. Okay, you want to fly for a little bit? You have the aircraft. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull. I have the aircraft. Okay, get your feet off that. Nah, just your hands. Just your hands. Here, I'll take this. Oh, dude. Don't pull on it. Just, just, just. There you go. Hold her like that. Hold her steady. It's real sensitive. Turn a little bit to the left. There you go. <laughs> Boy, teaching a five-year-old's like something else. Yeah, see that big mountain over there? That's Mount Diablo. Just point, aim for that. Put the nose down. Lower the nose. What? Lower the nose right there. Good. <laughs> Pull back just a little bit, gently, very. Climb on up, don't use your feet. Use your hands, gently, use your fingertips. Just your fingertips. That's it, bring the nose up a little bit. There you go, that's good, right about there. Now hold it right there. Keep looking outside. Can you see over the hood? Can you see over the top? Not no, really. I can't see. You can't see nothing. <laughs> it's tough when learning to fly when you're five. I see a lake. Yeah. And no one. Level your wings out. That's good. And look at that, you're right on you're right on course there, Pete. On your map here, you're right on course. Where am I? Right there. Oh. But more importantly, look outside. Bring the nose up again. Kind of doing a fugoid oscillation here. There you go. Hold it right there. Stop that right there. Good. Right there. The plane kind of flies itself, huh? Yeah. It's naturally stable. Bring the nose back up. It's sensitive too, isn't it? I see one car down there. One what? One car. One car? Yeah. Yeah. It's a white truck. Yep. Okay, let's get a hold of Nor NorCal Approach. Radio's here. NorCal Dust from 71608. And who was that calling? Oscar 7168, North Cal Police Corps 5373. 5373, 608. 1781 Con. Oscar 608, traffic 10 miles south of the Grass Valley Airport, northwest around 4500. Oscar 608, looking. Oscar 608, if you don't have a side turn 20 degrees to the left. Six or eight out of four thousand three hundred for four thousand five hundred. 
You see something? Custom 608, Roger. Snow! Snow! 608, check the national office in the 3024. 3024, we have the northwest traffic inside Muscom 608. Muscom 608, Roger, maintain uh, VFR resume navigation. Muscom 608. Okay, Pete, see that airplane over there? You keep your eyes peeled for other airplanes. See them? All right, you have the aircraft. What do you say? You have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. You have the aircraft. What's that? Why is it a blue over there? Oh, that's a lake. It's a pretty lake. No. Why is it blue right there? Blue? Yeah. Well, there's blue sky and then blue mountains. Why? Good, you're right on altitude, right there, looks good. Hard to get good help these days. He didn't last long. We're approaching some of the burned area from the Napa fires from last fall, from very recently. Got a few jumpers away, I understand. Burned all the way from there Got a Center, Lusk from 71608, approaching Napa 4500. We'll be doing a VFR descent to 1500 for a, for a bay tour down to San Carlos. Lusk from 71608, Center, Roger, San Francisco, altimeter 3022. 3022, Lusk from 608. Okay, so we explained to him what we want to do there, Pete, how we want to go shooting down through the Golden Gate Bridge below and outside of the... Uh, Class B airspace. See this upside down wedding cake, all those blue lines? We gotta stay out of that. And boy, is there a lot of land burned from these fires down here. So we'll start our descent now. What do you see over there, Pete? You see the city? Yeah. Point to where? Right over there. Oh, 788, Good eye, Pete. We're looking. Okay, good afternoon. United 821 with you out of 1,600 climbing via the stick one. United 821, north of the park, through it at contact. Carcal Lusk from 71608 out of 2,000 feet for 1,500. Southwest 5068, North Southern Park, to radar contact, climb maintain 10,000. Climb maintain 10,000, wasn't us, but uh, checking out, passing 1,400, Southwest 5068. Who was the other one checking in? Lusk from 71608 out of 2,000 feet for 1,500. Southwest 76, Papa, thank you. And zero one Yankee, you were descending one thousand five hundred. You're saying? Zero one Yankee, descending one thousand five hundred. Number seven one six zero eight, North Tower Approach. We're in outside of Bravo airspace, and our accepting transitions with the tower right now. San Carlos, India's current altimeter three zero two zero. Three zero two zero, main outside class Bravo, American. Plus from seven one six zero eight. <laughs> American. Now we know who he works for. San Quentin, keep your nose clean, Pete, and you stay out of there. That's a giant prison. Actually, I think it's down here. That's something else. Okay, so she says stay outside of the wedding cake there, Pete. So we're going to stay below it. Say again, Pete, what's the what? What's the white stuff? The white stuff is yeah. fog, and we want to stay out of that. We're going to stay just above that and right below the Class B. And the ocean is right below that fog. Southwest 5068, restricting traffic is 2 to 3 fog, 7 miles. 190. 190.com, 
Delta Zulu, come up on Switchfire, 3500, for back to Alpha. Roll 123 Delta Zulu, North Alpha, contact approach 133.95. Good eye. 13995, thank you. Get over there. Yeah, there's another one way over there. Keep an eye on him. Somebody with you, Penguin. Daddy. Yeah, what do you see? I just saw him. Shit. Yeah, that's the real ocean. Number 76, Papa, contact open tab, 118.3. 170, Is it too windy? Yeah. Fingers clear. There you go. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. There's another jet taking off out of San Francisco. That's why we got to get so low here, because these guys are taking off out of SFO. Heavy. All the heavy international departures are dragging their tail through here. I can still see the beach right over here. We got a problem, we'll just head over to the beach. Look at that, you wanna go to Hawaii, Pete? It's right out there, about 5,000 miles. Number 608, traffic 12 o'clock, three miles northbound, coming out of 3,000, Airbus 321. In sight, Lost Cup 608. There's the Number 608, Cost Lake Turbulence. 608. There's a big jet, he's coming right towards us, above us. Says, look out for the wake turbulence. We definitely wanna look out for that. He's way above us, no factor. Can you see him up here, up through here? He's right up there. Number eight, Whiskey Tango, again, thanks for your help. Contact departure 127.907. 797, Whiskey Tango. He's gone now. Daddy? Yes, me. Are we going a little off track? <laughs> you don't like going out over this water. See, I gotta go around this piece of airspace right here. Do I like you over water? Just, what, where are we going? Number one, three, Charlie, contact the post, one, three, five, point six, five. And then back around to the left. Okay. Into one, three, five. We gotta five, go one, three, around seven. San Francisco, first of all. Good eye, though, Pete, without being off track. Is that the one way we'll do land on? Nope. Okay. Not today. It would be neat, though, to land right there on the ocean, wouldn't it? I'll, I'll need to go to the bathroom. You do? I don't. Oh, good. We're almost there. United 20. Expect this approach. Runway 30 is in use. All I have aircraft contact ground control for planes. One zero minutes prior to taxi. Advise you have ended yet. 1933. Starting to be a far climb out of 1500 for San Carlos with India. Number 71608, North Cal Approach. The uh, San Francisco altimeter is 3020. 3020, less than 608. SA.4 or 6000. South at 6760. Where's the airport? It's right up over this ridge here. Right up over this ridge. See that bridge over there? It's on this side of that airplane. bridge. Where? Where? Close or far away? Look at look at No, not yet. Good eye, Pete. I, uh well I see okay. See those is that the jet liner on the in the water there? What? Is that that jet on the water you're seeing? Yeah. Okay, those are the arrivals into San Francisco. They're no factor. We're gonna land uh, well this side of it, but good eye. They're going straight into San Francisco. We're gonna land short of that. We used to fly in here all the time with the airliners, Pete. November 608, St. Carlos Airport, 12 o'clock, 6 miles, advise airport, thanks. Lost 608, will do. 12 o'clock, 6 miles. 1933, Tom, 120.5, take care. 40.5, right here with 1933. We'll advise inside. Here comes another airliner in on the approach. Yeah, keep your, keep your head on a swivel, Pete. Keep a looking. Very much. And Luscom 608 has San Carlos in sight. Service 608, thank you, sir. You're ready to serve, sir. Terminator, remain on your present squawk and contact the San Carlos Tower 119.0. Take care. 1190, thanks. See you then. 1190. 
San Carlos Tower, let's go 716085 West, landing in the uh... Let's look on 71608 Sankara Star. Good afternoon. Cross overhead midfield at about 1,200 for right traffic on way 30. Traffic on three mile final bonanza plan to follow. Number two, runway 30, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 30, cross midfield, 1,200 feet, let's go 608. Okay, we're going to do a midfield crosswind entry, go right over the middle of the field and do a right downwind, and we'll be number two or three for landing. Okay, we got our lights on. Fuel is still about half full on the left tank. Gas undercarriage mixture prop. Is the gear down, Pete? What? Is the landing gear down? Yeah. Okay. Looks like it never went anywhere, huh? I see the hangars. There's the airport right up here. The landing gear is always down. <laughs> it's always down on this airplane, huh? But sometimes you fly airplanes that... Well, the gear's retractable, like the Bonanza. I know. So, it's a good habit. There's 1,200 feet. Coming up on the midfield. Lost the security there, and right down wind 30, San Carlos. Welcome back, be back, it's correct. Let's come 6 to 8, you are number one. Number one, cleared land, 30, San Carlos. Great, nobody else in the pattern. We are cleared to land. Let's just beam it on in there. San Carlos Tower, Jump Cherokee, it, 10 to 5, 9 to 5 Jet, coming up on Crystal String, Crystal Look, it's String Transition to Hayward. Funny 5 9 to 5 blood. Juliet, San Carlos Tower, Transition to Proof, San Carlos Altimeter, 3019, and uh, you can just pers uh, proceed to KMBR and then to Hayward. Verify, you said 1,500. Nobody on final. Nope. We're out of the way of all the jets over here. Thousand five hundred NBR nine five Juliet. Juliet traffic at your two o'clock and uh, mile and a half two thousand three hundred indicated west 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 bound five five nine. Looking for traffic nine five Juliet. San Carlos Tower, Plata, two nine five Yankee information India two thousand over Hayward. Two nine five Yankee San Carlos Tower. Anyway, base runway three zero final. Let's come on a close in base to final number two runway three zero could land. Two nine five Yankee will enter the right base runway three zero into the traffic. Okay, we got a little bit of a right crosswind here. Got the field inside. Stopping inside for 95 Juliet. Altitude 1400, okay for 95 Juliet. Yes, sir. Between one, uh, this transition between 1,200 and 1,400. Blamo! Blamo! Half I do it. Half I do it. One able squawk five three five six. Look at. What do you see? Airplanes. Yeah. Squawk five three five six. Half I do it. Six zero eight. When you're able, sit back in. Blamo! Six zero eight. Cleared echo. Going to transient. Roger, are you from there? I am, up there by the fuel pumps. So it's right taxi parking via Lima, remain this frequency. Roger, 608. Why is via there, what? What is this? Why is there a face of a jet up there? Lima, okay, via Lima. That's what I was supposed to read back. Okay, let's get some air in here, Pete. Don't you pop your window open. After all that Whoa. hard work. Look at all those. We'll get this thing parked, Pete, we'll debrief the, the flight, and you get a piece of candy for doing so good today. How's that sound? Uh, okay. <laughs> There's the hat. Okay. okay, remember when I said um, you have the aircraft, and you grab the stick, and what happened? So when we're, something I gotta do a little better job of instructing. When we're taxiing around, remember I had you hold the stick back like this? Oh, yeah right all the way back in your lap that's to keep the tail all the way firmly planted on the ground um when we're flying where's the stick usually when we're flying pete where's the stick usually right about there right yeah yeah so so when i say you got the aircraft when you're flying you just kind of leave the stick right there you don't need to pull it back hard towards you that might have been my fault for <laughs> showing you this before showing you this know what i mean so, so, and it only takes your fingertips to fly this airplane, right? 
Yeah. All right, good job, Pete. Here. I see a food truck. You see a food truck? Yeah. You get a piece of candy. Good job. That was almost uh, almost two hours worth of flying. It'd be like a long way. Really? Like one minute? Went real fast, huh? Well, good job. So, Pete, did you really see a whale today? Yeah. What was it? Huge? Yeah. Wow. I think it was a humpback whale. In the ocean? Yeah. Wow. Did you have fun traveling today? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it again.